We've been to all these states 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Welcome back to another video. I'm Tim. And I'm Millie. Today, guys, we're in the desert. We are boondocking in the desert for the second time on this trip. In today's video, guys, we're just going to kind of talk to you guys about our experience, how we enjoyed it, and things y'all can do to get ready to boondock if you're thinking about boondocking. To be honest, I was a little skeptical about boondocking, but this one right here. He got me into boondocking and now I'm like, hook, I love it. Well, off grid boondocking. We boondocked before, like, <laughs> stayed overnight a couple of times in, in Walmart and so forth. But yo, we are like in the middle of nowhere. So, the first thing that you want to do when you're looking into boondocking is to find out where do you want to go. After you figured out where it is you want to go, you've done your research, you're ready to go ahead and boondock. Now you got to get prepared to get to where you want to go. Get the RV ready, get your rig ready with everything you're going to need, whether it's for one day or 10 days. The first thing we do is we like to look for flying jays uh rv parks that are in our route to wherever it is that we're going to either do our dumping and our filling of our tanks those come with a small fee say anywhere from like five to 15 bucks depending on where you're able to go besides filling up your tanks and cleaning out your tanks um you also want to make sure you have gas so when we're filling up our truck we make sure that we have enough gas for our generator and we also make sure we have an extra five gallon tank of gas for the generator in case we run out. We have two propane tanks, two five gallon propane tanks. You can run through your propane pretty quickly with cooking uh, for heat. So you definitely wanna try to conserve that as much as possible. We use that in conjunction with a generator so we kind of go back and forth to keep the fridge cool because our refrigerator does also run on propane so those are things you want to keep in mind when going boondocking keep everything topped off conserving is a must so another thing you want to keep in mind is making sure you have all your supplies meaning food water snacks etc whatever it is that you think you're gonna need once you arrive at your location so that way you don't have to keep worrying about driving back driving into town to get whatever you forgot or missed for example us we usually make a pit stop at walmart and gather all of our supplies whether it's our food whether it's cleaning supplies whether it's paper towels which you're gonna go through a lot of paper towels when you're boondocking <laughs> another thing is firewood we love to do fires especially stargazing and just enjoying a cup of wine around the fire so don't forget to pick up your firewood so you have an amazing beautiful night stargazing and just enjoying beautiful sunsets all right guys so at this point you have arrived now you want to see where and what site you want to take blm camping can be kind of like it could be a bit crazy because the roads are also crazy so what you want to do is probably disconnect your rig at the entrance drive in get a feel of the area see where you can actually take your rig go back and just hitch back up to your whether it's a trailer or whatever it is and get into the park find your site we are about five sites in and it was nothing but gravel that we came in on we didn't see anything too crazy, but it was a very bumpy ride. So definitely do your research. Look at reviews of the BLM where you are. A lot of times someone else will tell you, hey, if you have a 35 foot trailer, you probably won't make it to this area of the BLM. So um, that's actually something good to look into. Okay, so once you find your spot, guys, you're gonna um, wanna get set up. You wanna find somewhere uh, as leveled as possible. And it's like the wild, wild west out here. So you may be somewhere that's really unleveled. You may get lucky at times, but you want to make sure you have all your tools in order to level if you need to. Always be prepared for that, guys. It's very unlevel most of the times. 
boondocking with pets we travel with a little frenchie and she is white when we are at a blm or a dirt road like such she turns brown <laughs> so just be aware that if you're traveling with your pet your pet is gonna get dirty and messy and there's nothing you can do about it i'm just letting her enjoy letting her be free letting her be a dog another thing that you guys want to be aware is the wild animals out here there are coyotes there are rattlesnakes and all type of other things that i don't even know so you want to make sure that your dog is not wandering alone or going places that they're not supposed to be um we are constantly watching it's constantly with us if we're walking in a path she's walking right next to us on a leash not unattended just in case anything was to happen another thing to be aware of are foxtails especially in dry areas i'm not really sure here in arizona i know a lot of parts of arizona have foxtails people have talked about foxtails being around the area i'm not sure if there's any here but it's just something to keep in the lookout for make sure you look at your dog's paws and stuff like that because you don't want your dog to get injured or you know you have to spend a vet visit <laughs> one other thing you got to look out for though man is strange things strange people you got to be on the lookout we are always cautious but uh we did see someone just kind of walking maybe 500 feet from where our rig was and they were just walking with a shotgun we heard three shots go off we looked around and we're like yo what is this guy doing so that's another thing to be aware about man when you're boondocking just being aware of your surroundings and and things like that because you are in the middle of nowhere not to say that that's not allowed or that's not legal for someone to just walk around go hunting or whatever it is because laws are different everywhere you are but just be aware don't get too crazy don't get too spooked all right guys so this is how we power our rv we have a 3100 watt inverter generator uses about five gallons of gas lasts us maybe about four hours depending on how often we use it but um very convenient it's quiet this will run everything that we need to we only have one ac unit you know you can't run your ac and your microwave at the same time and things like that but it's very convenient there are a ton of ways to power your rv uh we use a generator you can use solar panels uh you can get multiple batteries uh we only have one battery right now because we just never thought about doing something like this as y'all know this is probably like our second time boondocking in the wilderness or whatever but we use a generator you can get into solar panels um there's a ton of things you can do with power in your rig whatever works for you is what will work for you one thing also that you want to be aware of is uh conserving water conserve your water when you're bathing you're gonna have to take like a, a three minute shower make sure that you're conserving water when you are washing dishes so the purpose of the bucket is so we don't fill up the tank so uh so fast and also we are always just being aware of how much weight is in the RV. So another way we conserve water is by taking quick showers or using baby wipes. We take baby wipe showers if we're running low on water, but it's just me and Tim, so. You gotta dirt up your nose and everything, huh? Love being outside. <laughs> Those look like rentals. All right, y'all, so that's it for the video, man. We hope y'all liked it. We hope y'all took, so you guys took something away from this video. All these rental atvs and jeeps are out guys so we're in a spot where it's like right along the road and it's been busy as hell for some reason yeah well, it's a nice day and everybody wants to yeah it's like in the 70s bro you know, i see how hope she is hope really brown, really in this bit she's no longer white oh my god yeah. we have to take her to like someone to take a shower but anyways, guys, we're going to wrap this video up, man. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys were able to take something away from it. Uh, if you're thinking about boondocking, I think we're going to do this type of boondocking a lot more. Kind of convinced me, like, why haven't... I've been wanting her to do this for so long. And she's I like, was scared, It yeah. was just like, it's just nothing that she really never... Oh, we can stay in a Walmart. Oh, we can stay in a park. Now let's get this I'm experience. definitely very open-minded now. Yeah. I love it. We'll link everything in the description about, like, our location, where we are. If you want to come to this area, it's in Sedona, Arizona. And um, it's definitely a cool place to check out. We'll probably stay there a couple more days because we just love it so much. But um, other than that, man, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it, a like. give it a like. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video.